throughout this newscast, but let's jump into our big three stories of the day. Eclipse preparations, they continue. That countdown going on 20 days now, 20 days from today until that total solar eclipse. Can't believe it. We've been counting down for a whole year and we're down to 20 finally, days. Finally, almost there. Yes. We're also talking about the latest on that houseboat that has uh, gone right into Lake Erie, that sinking houseboat. Are other houseboats there in that same area in jeopardy as well? We're going to find out tonight. Horseshoe Pond, a hot spot all of a sudden, but for all the wrong reasons. And also primary day in Ohio. Some really important races to keep an eye on, both on the national scale and perhaps predictors of what we'll see in Pennsylvania in about a month. We're keeping an eye on all of that as it develops. Let's move to the main desk here. And as we do, you're going to see Ariana Moyer. She's talking trending news in just a little while. But first, let's head to Erie today. Indeed, the Bayfront Convention Center, the site of today's final logistics meeting hosted by Visit Erie, discussing all things Eclipse as we are getting closer and closer to April 8th. We're anticipating up to 250,000 visitors in our region that day, again, depending on weather. And recently released data suggests hotel rooms in our area are almost entirely booked. That means, barring something unforeseen, traffic is likely to be bumper to bumper. PennDOT officials said they'll update the PA511 app, Google Maps, and Waze in real time, trying to direct visitors to the fastest route possible. But for most residents in our region, experts say the best option might be to just stay home and watch from your yard or a nearby park. Ohio is one of five states holding primary elections today. Republican voters are choosing who will go up against Democratic incumbent Senator Sherrod Brown. Now, the three major candidates are backed by Donald Trump. In some states like Kansas, Florida and Arizona, the only thing on the ballot will be the presidential race. Trump and Biden are expected to pad their delegate leads ahead of the party nominating conventions this summer. While Trump is experiencing an apparent cash crunch, the Biden campaign is tapping into its sizable reserves and spending millions on ads this month geared geared rather towards uh, black and Hispanic voters. President Biden kicks off his campaign tour out west also on this Tuesday.